Hello everybody out there, this is Ojo Singh from Smart Tech and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a tiling based system, a tiling system based on camera distance. So basically when I'm far away, the um, texture is, is tiled on a large scale and it is not visible. Um, and when I get close up, um, it will be something like you will get much much more detail based on the texture. Um, to give you a better example, I'll go in here. Um, materials, master instance. Now, as you can see, as I move in, it is getting much, much more detail. So, how do we do it? It's pretty simple. Um, I will just delete all this just create a new material and press T two times okay in here search vessel make sure to add starter content put in the normal put in the normals put in your base color and here put in vessel T and since I'm using landscape landscape sorry landscape layer quads here it is um, I'm gonna do something like that okay so basically it will be fast ridge and when I move in it will it will have of course less detail because I'm pretty much stretching it to its limit um, and to show you this, I'm gonna create a material instance, of course, and put this in here. Now guys, as you can see, uh, um, it is being scaled, right? But as I move in, it is very less detailed. And if I want in more detail, then I will have to do something like zero, which is that texture itself just being tiled more and more and more and more. That is, it will be repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated. I'll let the shaders compile and to fasten some stuff up. I'll do one thing, I'll replace a very heavy shader that is right there. This one, way better. Okay, guys, so as I was saying, it is looking pretty glossy. Why? Because as you can, as you move in, you will notice that it is being tiled so much. And that's why you need distance based styling. So go ahead and go back, put it 200. And first thing you want to do is Control W. And then Control W will duplicate it. Hold N and left click to create a lub that will blend between two values based on a third value. So put this in B and put this in A. So A will be my base and on top of it B will be blended based on my alpha. So I'm gonna duplicate this landscape layer coordinate by pressing Ctrl W and put this in the UVs. Make sure to set this value to zero so it is the texture only. And the alpha, here comes the main magic. Camera depth fade. Now the camera depth fade is basically giving you a value between 0 to 1 um, based on your distance. So as I move in, I have 0, that is the um, detail texture. And as I move out, I have this tile texture. So the tiling will not be present. I'll use a scalar parameter to edit the fade length and length. Just name it something better than my length. 2500 and then. Now make sure to do the same thing of the normals because if the normals are tiled like on the on the hundred scale, the one the zero part will lose its um, detail because normal plays a major role, right? Again, basalt, 
normals. In the alpha, put this here. Make sure to use the same values over and over again. That's an important part because you can't, you shouldn't have different values for this. In this case, just a common depth fit value, and it should do your trick. And as I move in. Okay, now as you can see, I'm compiling pretty fast. Hope it goes fastly. Oh. Yes, as you can see, but I'm far away, it is styling big, and I can't see no repetition, repetition, and that is great. Unless you go like whoosh. Now, as I move closer, you'll notice something. Last time, when I moved closer, it was not at all detailed. It was all blurry because of it being scaled up so much. As I move in, you notice something? The tile, the tiling was changed far away. And as I move up close, much more detail. You can use the same for tessellation, world displacement, roughness, glossiness, metallic, emissive, AO, pixel depth, world position offset, whatnot. Even for opacity. Many people use it. And that's how we do it. Make sure and if you guys like it, make sure to like the make sure to press the like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Um, make sure to subscribe to the to, uh, to my channel to get future videos and make sure to leave a feedback in the com comment section and don't forget to join my discord channel goodbye until next time keep developing